Hey everybody, looks into Swirl here, new day, new cup project. So I took advantage of a sale that was happening on either Black Friday or Cyber Monday or one of those days that weekend after Thanksgiving. And I bought some more, I bought some more micas at Woody's Goodies because it seems to be my latest obsession. I have lots of obsessions, as you know. So we are going to try out these 10 new micas that I got from Woody's Goodies onto this 30 ounce skinny straight black tumbler that I've already covered with two layers of Aline's Tack It Over and Over and let them dry so it's tacky and ready to go. And I'm gonna go through what I've got here. This is, you sit on a throne of lies. It's an Aurora Flake and it does not tell me what the shift is, so we'll find out. This is Midnight Special, and the rest of the type is so small that even with my readers on, I have no idea what it says, so we'll find out. These are Chromeleons. They're a whole different level above all the other Auroras that we've done. These these are, they're, they're supposed to be pretty darn spectacular, so we'll find out. This has a shift from red to purple to green to yellow. Evil Dead shifts from jade to green to purple. Perky Princess shifts from blue to green to purple. Goodfellas shifts from red to black to purple to orange. Well, that should be good. Jazz hands shifts from teal to pink to purple. Overboard shifts from gold to blue to green. Mooney pie shifts from, it doesn't say, it just says it's a rainbow mirror finish. So that should be pretty. And mermaid melons, I just love the sound of that. Mermaid melons shifts from bright blue to purple to blue. I'm just gonna get started. I am not gonna do stripes this time or segments like I did in the last cup. This was the last Aurora Flake tumbler I did. Not that long ago. I'll link to it below if you didn't see how I made this, but I did this in eight segments. I'm not going to be that specific this time around. This is going to be random pattern. I'm going to line these all up and I will do one to start in regular time and then after that I'm just going to speed things up otherwise we'll be here all night doing this. So I'm going to start with Midnight Special. And this is, you sit on a throne of lies. Oh, it's fluffy. Wow, look at that. Holy smoke. <laughs> wow, it goes a long way, it, it does. That's beautiful. Look at that. Holy smoke. Stunning. Stunning. Tiny little bit. Just fill in the gaps here. Okay, now the bottom is going to be everything that's spilled on the table. <laughs> Look at how amazing this cup looks. Look at that. The shifting, the chrome, some of it is so shiny. Oh my gosh. Oh, it is beautiful. The flakes. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to put a layer of epoxy resin on it and then we'll come back for the next step. So stay tuned.
And we're back. Okay, we have a layer of resin on our beautiful chromelion and aurora flakes cup. It's looking so pretty. I was hoping for sunshine this morning. I was going to go out on the deck and do a quick video clip with this in the sunshine. Not because it's finished, but just to show you how gorgeous it looks. That will have to wait because <laughs> we have no sunshine today. However, it is time to move on to the next step. I'm reaching back, literally, into my pantyhose collection here. The last time I put a link for these on the last video where I used them, I got these off AliExpress, and they no longer had these styles. People were taken to some other questionable place on their website. So I, I don't know what to tell you except to search on Amazon and on AliExpress for uh, fishnet stockings, and you'll you'll see a lot more than you want to. I, I'm really sorry about that, especially on AliExpress, but you know, that's, the, that's the best way to find a pattern that you might like to use whether it's this one or something a little different. Uh, you'll have to find that out for yourself. <laughs> and again, I apologize if anybody's, um, if your eyes don't like what they show you. Unfortunately, it just sort of is the way it is with their website. They, they have kind of they have control, you know? I don't. So I uh, put this on the cup. I don't want to pull it too tight and warp the design but I don't want it uh, bunched up and wrinkled either. I am going to cut off this portion of the stocking and what's left can be used for other cups. And this one possibly can be used again. Uh, it does tend to get a little loaded with paint after a couple uses and you might want to just not reuse it too many times or you'll end up with kind of a mess. That's been my experience anyway. So this gets tucked up in there, just like that. And then up here we put on our little uh, we turn this into a little man bun, according to Mrs. Nola, that's what she calls it. Little man bun. <laughs> Clearly I'm not experienced at the whole man bun thing. And I'm not sorry about that. Uh, okay, that, that should do. It produces a, a nice pattern on the bottom as well. Um, to make sure these are relatively straight because I'd like it to look like a nice pattern, not be all askew. Okay, I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to take you with me. We are going to go out to my carport and we are going to spray a little spray paint on here. So I'll meet you there in a sec. And we're back. Okay, so here's what happened after I did the spray painting that you just saw. I let this sit overnight so that the paint would be completely dry, even within the fibers of the stocking because I don't want any paint smudging as I pull this off. So let's see, let's see how this ended up. Pretty, very pretty. I love it. You see that? Absolutely love it. Okay, uh, stay tuned for the next step, whatever I decide to do next. <laughs> Okay, here we are out on the deck. This is the big reveal. I love how this looks so much that I don't want to put a decal on it, at least not now. If anybody has any suggestions, feel free to list them in the comments section below, but I just think this is so gorgeous just the way it is. I'm gonna leave it alone, let it speak for itself. 
Did you notice how the black just popped when I put the epoxy resin layer on? I mean, it was kind of meh as flat black spray paint, but oh wow, I just love how it looks now. This makes me very happy. Thanks so much, everyone. Stay safe. I will see you in the next video.